Good morning, everybody, and welcome back for a 6.7 battle rating Swedish jet fighter video. This is the J21RA. It's one of the rare instances, it's not the only, but it's a rare instance of a successful propeller-driven aircraft being converted over to become a jet-driven aircraft. The Yak-15 would be another example, and there's more than that, but I'm not going to go into a list of those. So, we have got a 6.7 battle rating early jet fighter thank you game don't care and uh it's uh the successful j21 fighter and let's see what's different about it because really there isn't that much besides it being uh converted over to 12.7 machine guns instead of 13.2 so that's actually kind of disappointing i love the 13.2s still has the 20 millimeter cannon in the nose and the rest of the modifications are standard as you would expect for a jet or really any dedicated fighter. We've got a G-suit to go along because it's uh, post-World War II. Or armor. A little bit of armor for the pilot. X-ray is uh, what you might expect for a pusher jet. There we go. Top speed, 462 miles per hour, so it is clearly subsonic. Um, takeoff run isn't too bad. Rate of climb is all right. Turn time is nothing particularly special. But that is also to be expected with an early jet engine and an airframe that's not exactly optimized for uh, jet flight so let's see if we've got any customizations for it I don't expect we do we do not okay well uh, I don't really have much else to say about this except it's at 6.7 and that puts it against some very dangerous territory if we get up tier to 7.7 but a down tier to 5.7 is kind of attractive so we'll see how it goes let's take it into some battle all right, we're going to try it with minimum fuel for the start. Let's see what we can do. I expect to get outrun badly by P-51Hs and Spitfires and Yak-9s and such because I am, first off, totally stock, and most of these guys are probably not. But besides that, they are all very late war, end of piston engine design as far as it can be advanced aircraft. And I am extremely early timeline jet aircraft, and I expect that um, this thing is going to be badly outperformed by them until we can get some altitude and some speed. But, let's see what we can do with it. Well, oh my goodness, this is accidentally lovely. Oh boy. This is, uh. Yeah, we're gonna fall away. We got no engine power at all. I had no climb whatsoever. And, uh, yeah, we're not gonna. I'm not getting into a tail chase. I'll go after this other guy who's running away, but. Boy, he really didn't want me to come after him, didn't he? So the climb rate is really bad because it's just so underpowered. Stock, at least. Obviously, it's going to get better as it gets modifications, but the stock engine power is uh, underwhelming, to say the least. On the plus side... It's a very quiet ride up here in the uh, cockpit. I'll bet you that the uh, Swedish pilots that started out on the prop version of this thing and then um, switched over to the jet conversion were probably quite excited. And of course, the best part is it still has the uh, Euro stealing pirate alarm. Euro R. Look at how fast this dude is climbing above me. Gonna keep climbing or is he gonna come head on? He's coming head on. Alright. Bring it, boy. Bring it, boy. Bring it, boy. Got him. Lucky me. Um, I don't like that idea at all. We got an oil leak. I think we're going to um We're gonna try and head back home. I'm a bit concerned about that J6. Oh, God. 
I heard him. Did not mean to put my flaps down. But since I did, let's give him a little something. Uh, okay. What is... I mean, he, he had all the energy coming out of the dive for sure, but look at him just run away from me. That's hilarious. Alright, I think 20 minutes of fuel might not be a terrible idea, though at the same time... Dude, bank! I think I can catch him. Can't get my nose around. Yeah. Could not get my nose around on him at all. Come on, around, around, around. Turn, 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 turn. Oh, man, this thing is just out, out maneuvered by late war, late technology piston engines. Well, I got an assist. All right. We pulled off the win. We had one guy left. Good, good battle. Came right down to the end of it. Yeah, that's not too bad. We are heavily outclassed by uh, piston engine fighters, so. Oof. Well, it's uh, an up tier, so that's fun. All right, here we go. Oh my god. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, get around, get around, get around on him. There we go. Alright, that's one. Oh boy, here we go, here we go, here we go. I think we better get our speed back up. So I think this will be particularly useful in uh, tank battles as an anti-CAS aircraft with an air spawn, certainly. I don't know about uh, how particularly useful it will be. When the thing gets fully spaded, we'll see. But this is one time where I am absolutely going for uh, performance modifications over ammo modifications. Goodness gracious. Go get him. Ah! Oh, here with the other one. Was hitting the wrong button. Would have liked to have had the 50s working, but oh well. Well, we won. Pulled off a kill again. I'm. Um, I'm hoping it's not a uh, false a false hope, but I'm getting a little bit of confidence in the thing. Definitely going for a compressor. I want engine power, and I want engine power bad. All right, not bad for two battles. Let's see if we can uh, get compressor and then try to get a little more speed out of the thing. Well, I don't think I'm going to catch this guy. And we're about to mix it up, which won't be the end of the world. We just gotta keep the speed up, 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 up. So slashing attacks and no turn fighting because my acceleration is not there to come out of a turn fight. I don't want to head on, but it's certainly going to happen because this is War Thunder and I don't have the altitude advantage to press it either, so. 
hope I can outrun these guys in a dive. Because <laughs> we're about to find out. Down we go. We are out of here. Alright, pick speed back up. Let's try to get some altitude back. Sorry, P-47. Got him. I got a minute of fuel to make it 20 kilometers. This thing handles extremely well on a glide, I will say that. Oh, I guess responsive as heck right now. Okay, I found our ground striking 262. See if we can give him a little unpleasant surprise. like to have seen slightly better effects on target there, but... That works 
too. Oh, they brought a friend. I don't think they're very happy with me. Pull, baby, pull. Yeah, we're not pulling off of that. Oh my god, we did. Time to get low and run. Oh, jeez. I was hoping he was going to be too fast from his dive, but it doesn't look like it. Almost, but not quite. We don't have it. We just don't have the power. Just don't have the power. Oh. Okay, we survived. Man. <laughs> Four kills and three battles is a lot better than I thought I was going to do. Okay, um... Airframe speed us up at all. Offensive 12mm might not be a terrible idea. Boosters I don't think are going to be... I don't know. Boosters are important. I could probably climb a little better with a better airframe. Boy, I honestly, I don't know. I'm going to go with boosters. And then engine. Alright. There we go. Better ammo would be good. <laughs> God in heaven. Oh, I love it. I'm apparently fine.
<laughs> if this 234 lands, I'm, I'm gonna be astonished. Ha <laughs> Well, got the engine, so that's cool. What else we got? Um, yeah, we better go for new ammo. Okay, moving on. Uh, I hit him in the roof, but didn't do anything. I got 20 mil armor piercing ground belts, but... Uh, oh my god. That guy did some Tokyo Drift and a Tiger II. <laughs> and he went boom. Bye. Burn up, please. Burn up, please. Thank you. Yes, got him. Apparently, he saved somebody's life. Yeah, he was he was backing off on somebody. I, agree. I knew it was a two five one. I could see him. his own tail off. See ya. CRV, what are you doing, man? Oh, you're going after the other. Okay. He got it. Nice work. All right. Ended up okay. I mean, well, here we go. Now we're in it. Yeah, I knew it. He's negative Ging away. Sure. Still negative Ging. And I'm overspeeding. Uh, okay. Doesn't make any damn sense. Okay, that, that makes more sense, I guess. Keep right on going. Are there any friendlies? There are. There's an ATD. We're gonna head for him. Could use an assist here, ATD. Oh, 
All right, buddy, hang on. I will not abandon you after you helped me. Oh, don't get clipped, don't get clipped. finish him. Or I guess we better stay on the 162. Alright, you take him. I'll take the 162. Got him out maneuvered, I do believe. Hit. I do not trust these walking. Oh, wow. <laughs> Boy, I don't trust these 12-7s at all, man. Not even a little. I mean, oh. Really, P-51? This is why people get team killed. All right, it's fully spaded. Let's see if the takeoff and the acceleration is any better. I mean, the last modification I got was um, new machine guns, so it's not, it's not like it should change the flight characteristics at all, but it is fully spaded, so. Figured I would get you guys a fully spaded battle at the end here, too, after all the rest of it. As it is a fighter and an early jet fighter, it does make sense to see what the spade of performance is like. Level it off. We're clear of the F3D, good. Level it off and let's see what the flat acceleration looks like. Accelerating relatively speedily. It's not an overwhelming sense of speed, but it's getting there. Hang on, man. Hang on, buddy. That I can deal with. That'll work. Oh boy. Look out, F-84. Look out, F-84. Yikes. Shoot, there was a teammate too close. Darn it. I could have probably let him, but it's alright. That was scary. Alright, they got him. Shoot from behind the. Alright, nice work, guys. 
And now the scariest enemy of all shows up, a Horton. Ah, I hate Hortons. We're gonna enough ammo. I can't catch him. How many got left? Okay, four, three left. I don't see the third one. I hate Hortons, they're such a pain in the ass. Maybe, maybe. Oh god, he pulled, he pulled just above my guns. It's so annoying. Yeah. Please don't shoot from behind me, I have enough to worry about right now with this Horton. Hit him, and they crashed. Oh, come on! I hit him and didn't kill him. Did I get him? I don't think I got him. And yes, I see the name. I can't believe I got hits right into the front of that plane and didn't get anything. Eh, we won. So that's also good. Alright. It was spaded out just before that battle. And there we go. It was actually spaded out with the battle where the dude kill stole my HE-162 before this. But this was the very next battle, so there we go. Alright, closing thoughts uh, coming up. So, for closing thoughts, uh, the 12.7s are a definite downgrade from the 13.2s, no, no doubt. And uh, the jet engine is unfortunately a downgrade from the prop simply because of acceleration and top speed and wing rip speed. The wing rip speed is exceedingly low, like it's dangerously low, because if you don't cut your throttle and slow down before you dive, you will reach your wing rip speed very quickly, because the wings are pretty straight. There's a tiny bit of sweep in the outward part, but it's not enough. So that's a big issue. Uh, I ripped my wings a bunch of times, and it doesn't have an air brake, so that's the other thing. Like, it'd be nice if it had an air brake, and you could just throw the air brake, go into a dive, go after, you know, whatever enemies you have to dive on. But the acceleration is extremely poor relative to the late war props that you're going to face a lot. It's actually kind of poor relative to the Hortons and the uh, Arado 234Cs that you'll also see quite a lot that are pretty scary. Um, Kika, like basically everything that you're going to see is really dangerous. There's not a whole lot of things except for a straight up full 5.7 down tier where you might encounter a bomber where you're not going to be like, okay, that's dangerous. Okay, that's dangerous. Okay, that's dangerous. You can deal with most things, but the 12.7s are extremely lackluster for me compared to the 13.2s. I mean, like I said earlier, I felt like the 13.2s, I could use the stock belts and destroy everything. The 12.7s, I'm using the APIT rounds or universal everything is incendiary armor piercing, and they're not doing anything. I got a couple fires on people, but, like, I mean, I don't know. It was, uh... Not doing as much as I'd hoped. I mean, you're you're not as maneuverable as most of the things you're going to come up against either. So it's very much so an aircraft you want to keep your energy up, absolutely. But you also got to be extremely careful trying to, like, boom and zoom because you will overspeed really quickly. So it's a really tough nut to crack, this one. So I alternated between liking it and kind of hating it. Um, I'm also, I can't help but judge it against the previous propeller-driven models of the J-21 line because I absolutely love them because I did absolutely wonderful in them and it was not the same thing with the uh, jet versions. Now, granted, part of that is the fact that you're up against 6.7 rather than 3.3, so you've got a lot more people who know what they're doing and have been playing the game longer, so that is part of it. It's certainly better competition. It's also a lesser aircraft. But it's not impossible. I got kills with it. It's just... It's tricky. Um, yeah, that's all I can really think to say for it. Thank you all very much for watching. Oh, well, hang on, one more thing. It is actually surprisingly useful for ground assault. Ground RB, not ground assault, but as in attacking ground units. It's actually 
that's where it almost shined for me was going in and using the uh, ground attack belts with the 20 and attacking light tank targets in tank battles, which I did a few times. I was trying to finish my A21RB model video, but I would not have enough SP because this thing doesn't have ground ordnance, so it would have cheaper SP to bring in a tank battle. So a couple times I just brought this in, and I ended up strafing out a bunch of targets and marking for my team and dealing with you know an enemy aircraft up and stuff. So it was it's a weird little mixed bag of it seemed to do really well for me in ground battles and acceptable but not you know exemplary for air battles so that's it we'll call it good there because i don't want this video to go any longer than it already has thank you all very much for watching we'll see you all in the next video good luck out there with your j21 ras and uh wear a mask and wash your hands take care everybody have a great rest of your day